Okay, let's look at Silo's ability to UV map objects and apply textures to it. And this will include resizing the textures. What we have here is a cube that I've created from Silo. And we're going to click on this brick texture and apply it to the cube. Now what you can see is that by default, without any UV mapping, you've got a texture being applied directly to the top and, and bottom surfaces. This, any surfaces that are facing directly toward the, um, think of it as a movie projector that's projecting an image onto a, a cardboard box. Anything that's facing the projector is going to get an undistorted projection of the texture. But down the sides, the, the light is stretching and it's not it's not really shining directly onto these surfaces, so you get a distorted texture. And so the way to resolve that is you basically have to flatten out the cardboard box so that when you project a picture onto it, it gets the same flat image on all of those surfaces. And the way you um, UV map is you go to Surfaces and Control A to highlight all of your surfaces. Then come up to UV materials and recreate UVs in one of these ways. So by default it's by XYZ coordinates and, and that's why um, what we see is, is only being projected according to one XYZ coordinate. It's, it's being projected in uh, just one direction. We can make all of the faces become individual and let's try that. This is by face. And you can see, as soon as you do that, over here, these UV panes open. And you can see how it is arranged, each one of these faces, into the shape of your texture. And when you come over here, uh, you see that it is applied. It. And uh, so, but notice that it didn't really line up very well right here. We've We've got. Uh, if, if you were trying to make something out of this, you would, you would want these mortar joints to line up. So let's see how it looks everywhere else. Okay, what we can do is we can in in selection mode for surfaces, we select this, and then we shift click in this pane right here, and that'll give us a widget to move that surface. And we can drag it using using the arrow. We can drag it until those line up. Let's see if there are any others that don't line up. Okay, so that, that solved that problem. Now, if you want to change the size of the pattern across, across the whole thing, do while you're still in a surface selection mode, control A to select all surfaces. And then make sure that you've got this fourth widget uh, option selected because that gives you all of all of the markers on one. Then click on the on the uh, the vertex of the angle here and drag, which will basically what you're changing is the relationship the, the relative size of the texture to the object. So by making making the surfaces seem larger in relationship to the texture you make you make the texture seem smaller as it's applied to the surface so that's that's a very useful thing to know